Hello, Peter Alice here. Welcome to a new world of Flyover 18, a new world in the magical world of the game of golf. Robert Nicholas Steeles is proud to sponsor hole number one. Lowest Park Golf Club, the first hole. Out of bounds on the left. Oh, you don't want to go down there. But see that narrow drive down. Little bit of a dog leg left to right. Only 350 yards. This is a small acreage with delightful holes and the most stunning views. A friendly welcome and fun. Very important to have fun. Not everybody wants to play monster courses, and this certainly isn't that. Not much trouble on this opening hole, just that little bunker on the right-hand side, but a way to a nice, easy start. And just look at that view. Virtual Garage is proud to sponsor hole number two. The second hole, just over 330 yards. Again, drive to a slight sort of brow of the hill, then a little turn to the right, out of bounds over that wall on the left-hand side. But those trees down the right are well positioned. You can see the green slightly lower, the wall, the out of bounds wall, still down the left hand side. Pretty well bunkered green. But if you make a monster mistake judging your second shot, you could end up in a lorry on its way to Clitheroe. Now you may wonder what that green is on the right hand side. Well, this is a nine hole course and they've got 10 greens. When you play this the second time round, that's the green you play to. Bit noisy, yes, it is a bit noisy, but once you get away from the immediate noise from the motorway, you get delightful views, a golf course in beautiful condition. I was absolutely delighted with the greens and the fairways and the hard work the greenkeepers have put in. Great credit. Complete Driveway Designs is proud to sponsor hole number three. The third hole at Lowe's Park is a pleasant, uh, well, it's almost a long par three by today's standards, but this is a, a canny short par four. Trees down either side of the fairway. The hole bends a little bit left to right, and the green nestles slightly below the level of the fairway up on the top here. But again, a spectacular view to the hills in the distance. This really is a hidden gem. It's an absolute delight. Over the hill you go down to the green. Not a lot of trouble round and about this green, although back right, if you fire through, you can find a nasty spot or two there, unless you get caught up in that right-hand bunker. Miss the bunker and you're in those bushes, and then you're struggling, oh, towards an early grave. Skip Higher is proud to sponsor hole number four. Number four, 528 yards. Big hole for a course of uh, really modest acreage and a good par five it is too, out of bounds through those trees on the right hand side. A little bit more tree planting might come in on the left hand side, just to give it a little tighter definition. But over the brow of the hill you go, there's a little pond there on the left in front of that previous hole T. But sneakily, a little bit further down where those trees jut out a little bit, there's another pond which I'm rather surprised, perhaps it's something to do with the motorway, it hasn't been extended or made into more of a feature because the big boys could drive into that. We're getting perilously close to the motorway, but I don't think too many balls end up there. Health and safety put on their backs immediately. Interesting shaped green, again, tight. You've got to play accurate golf here.
Northwest Fireplace Center is proud to sponsor hole number five. The fifth hole, 435 yards, we're in the middle now of three holes of good length. Now this is stroke index one. Why? Well, it's a very hard hole to get a four out. It looks comparatively easy as we sail down the fairway. The trees are a little bit sparse on the left-hand side. Again, a little dog leg right to left, and the green slightly below the level of the fairway up at the top. Trees come into play down by the green. There's a bunker that's been grassed over, you might say, front right over the years. Well, quite formidable bunker, good face on that bunker, front left. And again, if you go over that, the ball can roll away to the left, making the chip up and down tricky. JVM Motors is proud to sponsor hole number six. The sixth hole is a, well, a slightly blind tee shot up over the brow of the hill. It measures 430 odd yards, par four. This is, again is a, a formidable hole. You're delighted if you come away with a four on your card. Little trees dotted about, not lined down the fairways as we've seen before, but the occasional one that somehow always manages to get in your way. The green down at the bottom there, nestling in those little copse of trees. Bunker front right, again, slightly elevated green. The ball can easily run away and through the back of the green, not more than eight or 10 paces from the bottom of that hill, probably less. There's a fence and out of bounds, almost a donkey sanctuary down the back. So if you're an album lover, take some apples with you. Miller Metcalf is proud to sponsor hole number seven. Now here's a change of character. The seventh hole across the valley, up over onto the top of the hill, a little bit of heather, a little bit of rough ground, a few Scots pines in the trees on the left-hand side. Well, this is stroke index 15. Well, whoever thought that one up, I think, was a bit of a sadist, because I think you could certainly wreck a good card or two here. I know it's short, only about six, seven, eight, nine wedge for the big boys, but look at that drop away to the left. Good bunker on the right-hand side, narrow green, oh, a crackerjack. Fairway Products is proud to sponsor hole number eight. Well, this is the eighth, or if you play the course twice, it's the 17th hole, 177 yards, down the line of trees, slightly downhill, green projected out a little bit to fall away on the right-hand side, and a bunker, a nice bunker shaped into the green, framed by the trees at the back, you can be a little bit lucky. You can play a sort of scruffy shot and bouncing off the left here if the golfing gods are with you. But all in all, it's a nice par three. Gary Schofield is proud to sponsor hole number nine. And so we come to the ninth hole, or the 18th if you're going round twice, 312 yards. This is a difficult driving hole. Why? Well, just look at that jungle on the left-hand side. You do not want to go in there. Trees on the right-hand side, a long fade can get you past it, but this really is a formidable tee shot. Once you get up to or past that bunker on the left, the hole just kinks away a little bit to the left, up to the trees in the far distance. 312 yards, well, for some boys, I suppose, they think they can drive it. They talk about risk and reward. I think there's a lot of risk here. There's a little ditch up the right-hand side which can catch many of the unwary or the greedy. Well-bunkered green, nothing really too troublesome at the back of this green, 
except shipping back can be awkward, and the delightful, friendly clubhouse just a few yards away behind those trees on the right-hand side. So whether you play nine or 18, Lowe's Park Golf Club is a treat. Mm -hmm.